commuting home with the rest of Denver. Oh, it's hot and busy out of here. But before I get home, um, I'm trying. <laughs> for t two years, I've been trying to find a bracket to fix the railing uh, on the boys' bunk bed. I cannot find a bracket. If I was a welder, I wish I had that skill and the tools. I could just. I could make one pretty easily, but I don't have the tools for that. So I've been trying to find this bracket that I'm going to show you here in one second. Home Depot, boo, no help. I walk in and they're like, "What? You you want us to like stop what we're doing and like help you find?" Like it was, it's just sad. I don't Home Depot. Come on, I I don't despise your store, but I I just need a little help. So going to Ace. You know me and Ace. I love Ace. Smaller store, smaller hardware store. Going to give it a shot. See if the, uh, see if the local shop can help. All right, here's the, here's the bracket I'm trying to fix. All right, now have the boys with me. We did not find the bracket at Ace. Not successful. Oh man, we are running out of options. So this is basically the last ditch effort before, um, Throwing in the towel on the old railings, and then we're just gonna get new ones if this doesn't work. So we're going into Rockler Woodworking with the boys. Here we go. This is for you guys. Kind of heavy. No so dice on the uh, Rockler, man. Ace Hardware told me to come to them. So you uh, you swing three times and miss, yeah. and you strike out. So. We are going to move on. So what what happened is we have two we have two railings with one bracket. So what I'm going to do is take one of the brackets off the off the railing and put it on the other one, and then we're just going to get rid of the other railing. No reason to keep it around. It's sad because it'd be nice to, uh, but I've looked everywhere and time is money, and I can't spend any more time trying to find brackets. So we'll just have one railing, and that'll be that. Uh, we went to the park for a little bit, but now, remember our new coffee maker? We thought it didn't require filters, but it does. So, anyway, we're just gonna, I, uh, oh, a reusable basket filter. Oh. That might work. Yes. No, silly. Question of the day. Question of the day. Hit me hit me hard here. Give me facts. How do you make your coffee in the morning? Do you use a French press? Do you use coffee filters? Do you use reusable coffee baskets? Do you use a Keurig machine, an espresso machine, Starbucks every morning? How do you make coffee? Question of the day. Co this one. Just move it right over top of it. Some Oreos showed up uh, at our front door. But I just want to make sure they're from our neighbor. You know what I mean. So the boys are running over to ask the neighbor to make sure, you know, they're just in a plastic baggie. It's like I'm trying to think ahead here, be proactive in saving the children. Not too, sh not too shabby. <laughs> am I feeling a smidge older? Yes, yes I am. Using the coffee maker. The whole idea, if you remember we got a new coffee maker in that blog, the whole idea is to awake to the aroma of coffee, and hopefully the goal is that it lures me out of the bed so I can wake up a little earlier than I've been waking up lately. Um, I love coffee. My only concern with the coffee maker as opposed to the French press is the strength of the coffee because I like my coffee nice and black and nice and strong. So. I'm gonna go a little little higher on the uh, coffee ground amounts and we'll see how it works in the morning when it starts. I think I'm gonna set it to begin brewing around 4 a.m. with the hopes that the aroma wafts through the air to my room by let's say 
Yeah. Capiche? That's the goal. Let's try. Let's try. Final prep for the morning. Go Coca-Cola. Sweet beauty. Work hard. Love each other. I'm eating some chocolate right now. And I love it. I hope you had a beautiful day. And uh, you're going to notice something slide across the bottom of your screen here in about 10 seconds. And uh, if you could do that, I would appreciate it. I would appreciate it. Just a little oomph. A little oomph in the right direction. So, see you tomorrow.